All right, YouTube, today in kind of funny news, uh, the South Korean president is uh, severely embattled right now. There are like hundreds of thousands of people protesting her even being in charge. She's like uh, President Park, I can't pronounce the last name, so I'm not going to even bother trying, honestly. Uh, is sort of like the Hillary Clinton, honestly, of South Korea, sort of a, a corrupt cult of personality sort of type neoliberal. Uh, bringing bad policies to South Korea has an approval rate now that's uh, close to the single digits. It's sort of a uh, it looks similar to what happened with Dilma before she got forced out. Of course, she stubbornly clung to power as well. Um, I, I think people around the world are realizing that just because a person is a female doesn't make them a good politician. We, of course, managed to stave off our own corrupt neoliberal from taking power here in the United States. Uh, she's uh, apparently not stepping down still, which means they may have to impeach her in South Korea. Uh, with approval that low, it shouldn't be that difficult to process because uh, sometimes if public opinion is is uh, strong enough, then usually you see members of even the party that represents whoever's in power splintering off. But not only has she been implicated in some sort of weird crap going on there with some sort of cult, like a, a literal like Rasputin si style thing going on, but there's also a separate corruption probe apparently now that she's been named in and is being investigated for. So things aren't looking too rosy for the uh, uh, Hillary Clinton of South Korea now. If ever there was a part of the world that you don't really want to undergo any significant social stress, certainly not any political or social upheaval, uh, it, was, it would probably be South Korea. Because remember what's just to the north of South Korea and what goes on on the DMZ and what we hear from North Korea all the time? Probably not great to have any significant political problems going on in this general region of the world. It'd be sort of like if like Taiwan suddenly destabilized due to a scandal and corruption and stuff like that. You might see China suddenly decide to make some sort of tentative moves there. And it'd get really messy really quick because the U.S. would have no choice but to get involved at that point. The same would be true in South Korea. The, uh, what needs to happen... The Western world needs to put pressure on President Park to resign. If her approval rating is really that low, if you've got not one but two different probes going on into two totally separate scandals with a person who is stubbornly clinging to power, it would behoove the other countries in the West, uh, allies of South Korea, to put pressure on her to kick herself out uh, and not to cause further problems. Uh, I understand, of course, the governments of all these nations are corrupt. They're all authoritarian to my, uh, to my understanding anyway, because, of course, I'm a libertarian. So I see neoliberalism and neoconservatives as uh, equally bad. <clears throat> but at the same time, there are some that function better than others. There are some in which there's more corruption than others. There are some that are more warmongering than others. And public opinion does play a role in really uh, what kind of policies are there. But President Park uh, has not followed in the, the long tradition of South Korean leadership being generally respectable. <laughs> because, again, you've got two, not one but two different problems going on here, both adding to the same general problem, which is nobody apparently trusts her anymore in the whole nation. You don't have a mandate to govern when your approval is below 20%. It just It's non-existent. It would, if that happened here... Uh, the last time that it happened here was with Richard Nixon, and of course he ended up being impeached, having to resign. Um, in no other modern presidency here in the United States has it gone that low. Bush was close. I think he hovered around 31 when he left office. That's perilously close to the you need to get real about what's going on uh, level, but not quite close enough. But it looks like President Park is actually right now perhaps at sub-Nixon levels of support. So eventually people are going to come calling for her job and force her out of office. There were some people claiming that they were fomenting the possibility of martial law to clear away the protests. That would be an extremely dangerous thing to do. Thankfully, I don't think the military or the other politicians in South Korea would tolerate it. I think they would kick her out in a heartbeat if she were to try to do such a thing, especially since they don't really want to have to massacre their own population. I don't think that would be expedient. I think that'd probably cause some international outrage that they can't deal with right now, uh, especially, again, when their northern neighbor is constantly threatening to bomb them. Uh, so, 
hopefully things will get uh, sorted out in the Korean Peninsula because uh, of all of the problems there inherent with such a split peninsula. That's about all. Peace out.